get it done sooner. I'd rather get it done. Let's see. It is currently March. I'm moving in April and May. So I want to shoot for June. There's no estimated time. That's just me with high hopes, you know. And we all know where my high hopes go. But just have a little bit of faith. Just try to go for June. Hmm. Question four. When will we be able to purchase coin skin? Not until 2.0 is finished. I do not want people to sit there and pay money into a game that's dead. And right now, the live version is dead. It's not worth unhappy people who pay money when the reset happens. Just in case there's something wrong with how the logs and everything have been stored for who's purchased coins with real money and all that. So I don't feel comfortable working with PayPal, getting it back up right away, if we're just going to reset. So that coins will not be purchasable again until after reset. How do you join the IRC? Okay, I can do that. Ah! What helps my press right buttons? A nice little button. Enter IRC. Run. Yes. On. Yeah. Yes. Oh, damn. Okay. That didn't work, did it? Okay. So... <laughs> Oh, boy. It's been a while since so I've had to join an IRC. Let's see if I can get it to work again now. I'm going to have to close the browser. Maybe don't hit yes on that second part. So I did not know that was not working. Um, <laughs> give me a second. I fell. I recommend XChat, but for Windows, it is not free. I have a license for it. Uh, Dubstep set up a MIRC tutorial. Uh, I don't know where it is. Let's see. We got forums, don't we? Forums! Forums, forums, forums. Do, 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 do. Maybe it's an off topic forum. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway. Oh, he said he will set up. I'm sorry. Right. Either way, you get yourself an IRC client, which I haven't put IRC on my new computer yet. Brand new computer, I'm sorry. That's why I don't have a HTML editor and all that. I have Putty. Yes. Uh, you download. Then you run around wondering where your downloads are. You install. Yeah, yeah, just install it all. Yeah. And it's got... Okay, let's see. You know, you do this crap. Yeah, this is crap right now. <laughs> then you want to add a server. You know, add new network. Call it Notorious Dons. Because we do have our own server. We don't use it like a popular server. You know, you... Then you... Go and you edit that. And you edit this, and it is irc.notorious.net. And close that. And simply connect. And now it's giving me problems. Oh, it always does. Then you'll want to join. Actually, I'll show you a different way to join. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not typing in my password right now, so let's just change it to you. I'm not going to put my password off for everybody to see right now. So you would go join Hound Victoria's Hunt. There you go. There I am. Uh, I'll
I'll actually log in later with the proper stuff. So we'll move that out of the way. We'll close this tab. Okay. Where's my questions? I lost my questions. There they are. Alright. How do you become a staff member? <laughs> Honestly, asking to become a staff member does not give you staff access. Um, begging won't get it. Having your friends recommend you will not get it. When I am actually active or get a recommendation from another staff member, I will become active. And I will actually look at your performance, see how you act in the forums, see how helpful you are. If you are helpful, there's a ladder. A ladder that we all should, that everybody should go through, which I have now implemented as required, is you start as support agent, you move from there to forum moderator, which you're still a player at this point. When, if you choose to become a moderator, I will ask you, say, hey, you'll lose your player status. You can have a player account, but you'll lose your player status. Would you like to become a moderator? That's your next step. Then the only way to become a programmer is not through that ladder. It's actually I have to know you. I have to trust you. Uh, there has been one player well, actually, there's been a few players to make it to programmer, but recently there's only been one player to make it to programmer. I know her. I trust her. I gave her access to the database and the code, which took a long time for other people to gain. And it's basically, I have to know you know your stuff. I have to be able to trust you with what I consider my baby, you know, and know that you won't screw me over. You don't have to kiss my ass, because... Chocolate does not kiss my ass. You don't have to think I'm the best person in the world. You don't have to suck up. I guess that's all the same thing. Begging will not work. Showing me your skills just randomly will not work. I have to get that trust issue over with. Uh, so that's how you become staff, basically. Being cooperative, helpful, noticeable, uh, don't troll. You cannot become a staff member if you've ever broken a rule. You know, all those things. Stop flashing. Oh, I lost it again. Ah, I look like a noob. I can't work my own computer. Okay. Question seven. What does pre-registering mean and what does it do? Pre-registering, if you want to reserve your username and keep your sign-up dates, and I think it's your experience points, too, as well as your merits, you can pre-register, and we'll take all that information saved from the database, and we'll create those accounts before registrations even open with 2.0 probably a day before the switch happens. And so when the switch happens, you'll have act you'll you won't have to register because you've already pre registered. You'll start at a decent rank because you'll start at your last experience amount, which is the experience amounts have been adjusted. So you might end up as a lower rank or a higher rank. So it's not based by rank, it's based on experience points. You're not transferring over money. You're just transferring over merits. I think you transfer coins over, but I'm not too sure right now. I'd have to look that up. But it's basically, hey, I want to register this name so nobody steals my name. I want to make sure I have some experience points moving over. You know, I want to head start into the reset. That's what pre-registration is. And I had one more question. When should the new layout be open to the public? The new layout will be open to the public when reset happens. Uh, there's no point in giving a brand new layout with a new database without a reset. I won't reset the live until the new layout is done. So 
so we're looking at June area. Hopeful for June area. <sighs> That's almost it. But since I don't have a timeline for you, yes, I don't have a timeline for you, I am going to go through some suggestions. And I'll explain why they're good suggestions, explain if I want to implement them or not, and get that done over with. I was just going to find my drink. Let's see. Oh my god, I've lost my mind. Oh, there's a suggestion stage. There it is. Oh. I get all my all the suggestions sent to my email, so it's really hard for me to find things that I don't really look at. So since they go to my email, I don't have to look at the interface, right? from the bottom. Let people defend themselves from attacker by automatically using bullets and a gun that are equipped to hurt the attacker. I think I have a comment on this. I might. No, if I just have a rating. I rated it five. Uh, we're going to give premium accounts as well as a coin option to have a bodyguard. Um, it won't use your bullets and weapons equipped. It'll actually use melee weapons if you own them. We're not going to let guns and bullets be part of this. We're going to give melee weapons a purpose. And so if you have melee weapons, your bodyguard will use them. There's a slight possibility, like one, I think we're going to do one in 50 chance that you actually do some serious damage that could kill them. But basically, it's not going to be, if you attack somebody, you don't have to worry about them attacking you back and killing you instantly. But people are going to want to have full health when they go to attack people. It's going to give them, you know, incentive to heal. Which, since we don't have grocery stores, the only way to heal would be hospitalized. So we're giving purpose to that feature again. Okay. Let's see. These are some old suggestions. Would be cool if you could buy some land, build a house, different size, different price. Okay, um, we were going to implement real estate a long, long, long time ago. And it just wasn't, didn't make sense for the way Indie Live is. Right now, actually, I'm going to rate that a four. Might as well leave writing. Ah! Where'd it go? Okay. Um, I want houses. I want real estate, and I want to use them as safe houses. I know other games use them as safe houses, but I don't want to use them as complete protection. I want them to use as it's easier to find you, but harder to kill you. Cause you guys shoot the walls, of course. You know, a lot of people think safe houses should keep you from being found, or real estate should keep you from being found. But no, you're standing in one place. It's easier to find you. So you won't be able to travel. You can still commit crimes, GTAs, organized crimes, but you won't be able to travel while you're currently staying in this real estate. Um, you won't be able to kill, because the only way you can probably kill is if they, you lure them into a real, your house realistically. So, I'm not going to allow that. But you're going to be able to do crimes, GTAs, online banking. I don't know. <laughs> you know, most features will be available, but certain ones that don't make sense won't be. You get, basically, it takes, almost, it takes more than twice the amount of bullets to kill you. You get significant protection. But you're easier to find. Say it would normally take you three hours to be found, you'll be found in 30 minutes. Okay, not that drastic, but yes. Um, Mob-owned casinos? No. Uh-uh. I've been in arguments with Orion over this. It won't happen. I don't like how basically a mob can rule the world if they own a casino. I prefer the mob member owns the casino. 
because then the mob member has easier to kill than the mob. 